when I would do concert was to start with a drum because as soon as my voice went to the hereafter, then our ancestors could have a trail to follow down. And that was because the first Indian that started, he would start up high and he'd come down like this and then the Indi other Indians would start coming. And then, there was, and then there would be a road that would come right down to earth. Everybody would dance on there. Well, Winston, uh, we look at him as a real good entertainer. He makes people laugh, and we like that, and he's well known, and uh, we're proud of him. I was goosed by a moose in the spruce. Well, I used to be tight, now I'm loose. I am sad and I'm sore, and my pucker string is tore. I was goosed by a moose in the spruce. <laughs> okay. I think the word that comes to my mind is magic. He truly is magic. He's magic in the way that he connects with his audience. He's magic in the way that he presents or shares teachings or just his own life. And I think he's very believable because he's so genuine in the way that he communicates, and he is always in the present. He's not back there or in the future. When I'm around Winston, we are fully engaged in the present, and so you can't help but be the best that you are, and he's being the best that he is, and out of that comes magic. Or Crees of the Eagle Hills. That's why we call it Miksua Chik, which means Eagle Hills land. Well, when I was growing up here, like it was hard to be an Indian here because there was a lot of prejudice and a lot of ignorance. Anyway, when I come back here, I don't feel really that good about it, even though my people are here and even though this is where we, this is where our people work. And this fort that you see here in the background, I don't understand why people would be proud to say we, we were in here and we had to protect ourselves because we wanted to come and we wanted to take this land. Our idea was to take this land and we built ourselves a stronghold here so that we could go out and take this land. So I don't really understand why anybody would want to be proud about showing that, that they were, that's what they wanted to do. So, but there are some stories, sure, when they hung Wandering Spirit and those other Indians that were at uh, Frog Lake. Those Indians, when they hung them here, they were on the gallows and they were singing war songs and taunts to the Northwest Mounted Police. All the Indians from around here, from Red Pheasant, and the Grizzly Bear Head, Lean Man, Mosquito, Palm Maker, Little Pines, from all around here and north of here, Thunder Child, they all came in here because they knew those Indians would be singing goodbye. And uh, those Indians sang goodbye. The Art Northwest Mounted Police, they didn't want to touch the Indians, so when they put their coffins right underneath them, so that when they, after they were dead, they would just cut the ropes and those Indians would fall right into those coffins. But dressy man, Inspector Steele, let him go because he asked him, he said, do you think the Indian will ever rise again? And dressy man knew that it was a trick question and he said no. And Inspector Steele told him, he said, if you would have said yes, he said you would have hung tomorrow with the rest of those Indians. So he let him go and he went over this way and he went south up to the Eagle Hills where they were living. And then he came back the next day and there's a big hill over there. Porter Hill, they call it nowadays. But in those days, you could sit up there and my mother said her grandfather used to sit up there every springtime 
and watch the buffalo down below. And from, from over there to here and to over across the highway where you came in from Saskatoon, there would be millions of buffalo. So there's good memories here, but the memories of the Indian people are not on, they're not on, uh, they're not on signs on the side of the road. They have instead signs like up the road there was a place of interest where Champlain lost his, or uh, yeah, Champlain, he lost his astrolabe. And an astrolabe is something for taking the directions, you know, like big deal. The, so I always think that in Saskatchewan, what they should do to really make it multicultural and to really make it interesting is they should have all along here Indian points of interest. Like this river right down here, Notintosi Peak, that means fighting river. The Blackfoot and the Cree had a big fight there. And so when the white man came here, they called this after the Indians, Notintosi Peak, they called it Battle Ford. And that was right down there where they did that. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of Indian history that could be extremely interesting. In 1986, the Multicultural Act came out and said that Indian music, or rather the Indian voice, must be heard in the finer arts, it must be heard in the educational system, it must be heard in the social sciences. And so I put this book together of Indian music uh, that every school could, every child in school could understand. Uh, and I also made, a, I wrote the music down, I wrote the history of the music, the origin, the era, and I made a little CD to go with it. Saskatchewan has taken this in their Department of Learning and they use it in their fine arts from grade three to grade 11. What I would like to do is to put this right across Canada. I will never forget this street corner here. And the reason why, I came through here 29 years ago at 100 miles an hour racing another guy. We'd been drinking all afternoon. The street corners were filled with people on a Friday afternoon, a beautiful Friday afternoon, six o'clock. We could have killed so many people at that one time, or if someone had a jaywalk, we could have killed them. I could have been the rest of my life in jail. This is a crossroads for me. I took the right road from that point on. Probably the biggest thing that's grabbed me about that march is that is putting into use some of the training that I had. And that training comes from being in military bands and playing the clarinet for 13 years in a military band. But I had also written a song and it went with this. And I never ever thought of putting it to a march until one day I thought, hey, why don't I put this to a march? I'll put some beautiful words in there that are talking about having a good day and don't do drugs. You know, instead of doing drugs, why don't you try hugs? It'll give you a natural high. Have a good day. And so it just, whenever I, whenever I tap into the subconscious, I don't even have to think, bang, Sarah, I just gotta write as fast as I can. This is where we sing, children of the land, I tell you, there's something wrong here today. In your eyes, I see the hurt and the pain, and it won't go away. Instead of doing drugs, why don't you try hugs? It will give you a natural high that will make your day. Hey, what do you say? First things first, have a good day. Then after that, it just fell into place. Everything fell into place after that. The first step was taken. After that, it was just a matter of continuing to walk. This is, a, this is getting really exciting. Like, uh, I never even thought about that, but you know, I mean, we can get a get a band and uh, and a choir and get some people in there for uh, that's good stuff. And uh, yeah, oh boy, wow! I mean, that's a big wow. Pitching wedge and putter. Okay, so I want a putter and a set of putter. 